Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update brought to you by Pepperstone on Wednesday the 11th of July 2018. I'm Darren Sinden and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at overnight changes and the price moves we need to be aware of. Uh, really a bit of a contrasting day. Uh, the dollar making gains against the likes of the Australian and New Zealand dollars, uh, pushing back uh, against uh, the Chinese currency, the yuan, and we'll look at some of the reasons for that momentarily. There are also gains for the dollar against the Mexican peso, uh, but perhaps uh, the, the contra move, and the one you wouldn't have expected, uh, was the uh, Brazilian real gaining 1.47% back against uh, the US dollar, even as other trade related currencies uh, moved lower. Uh, dollar index for its part largely unchanged, trading at 94.24 shortly before we recorded the video up by around 0.09%. Right then, what's on the calendar? Events that may move the markets today. Uh, not too much in the way of high impact data today, but there's plenty uh, from the world's central bankers. We've already had some uh, consumer confidence data out of Australia, alongside some home lending data. The consumer confidence data looking pretty positive uh, indeed, as was the uh, home loans data, which came in well ahead of uh, forecast. To come then at 7 a.m. GMT, we will have the first of the day's central banker speeches, and this one from ECB President Mario Draghi. Um, just to point out that it's actually an ECB meeting today, but it's the non monetary policy meeting rather than anything more substantial. Uh, and at 7 30, the second of the day's central bank speakers in the form of EC board member Prie. We jump forward then to 12 o'clock, and the third ECB speech of the day, this time from board member Mersch. Uh, at 12.30, we can pause for a data point, and this, in this case, producer price index data, X food and energy out of the US uh, for June, and that's a year-on-year -year measure. And then the uh, the main event of the day comes at 1400 in Canada, and that is the Bank of Canada interest rate decision, followed by a press conference at 15.15. The jury's out as to whether Bank of Canada can raise interest rates in July, as it hinted it would do. The balance of probabilities is still in favour of a raise, but uh, it's not that uh, clear-cut. 1535, we'll see Bank of England's Mark Carney uh, give us a speech. And at 1630, uh, FOMC member Bostick uh, takes to the stand. Four-hour gap till 2030, and FOMC member Williams will be speaking. And finally, the last of the day's data at 2350, uh, foreign investment in Japanese stocks and bonds for the week of July 2nd. OK then, breaking news and comment that's caught my eye overnight. And firstly, China is warned of retaliation if the US proceeds with new tariffs on up to $200 billion worth of Chinese goods. Crude oil prices have eased in Asia as the US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo hints at possible Iran oil sanction waivers. And those are sanction waivers not to be applied to Iran, but rather to countries that may do business with them. Meanwhile, President Trump has attacked what he calls delinquent NATO allies as he travels to the organization's Brussels summit that takes place over the next two days. OK then, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond. And why not think about this? Bank of America Merrill Lynch has raised its earnings forecast for the S&P 500 stocks in 2018 by 4%. And the bank says that 40% of that growth in earnings will come from a result of higher oil prices. will call come as a result of higher oil prices, I should say. The question then is, can oil prices outweigh trade war concerns in half or the second half of uh, 2018. And not necessarily um, the oil price that way in the trade war concerns, but rather the effect that they have on the price evaluation of the S&P 500 or US 500 index. The chart here shows us uh, crude oil in green, uh, plotted US crude oil, uh, plotted against uh, the US index in blue. And as you can see, uh, oil prices have been running ahead of the uh, underlying index. Of course, we've moved into earnings season once again uh, in the month of July, and so it'll be interesting to see if there's any catch-up to be played uh, by the index in comparison to the oil price. Right, 
Take a moment, please, to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange and margin can be a risky business if you're in any doubt about those risks or the suitability of leverage products for you. Then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative. Thank you for your time.